if you want to like talk ff7 fanfic with me i would love to because you guys are my fanfic crew and like you guys are the reason that i um got into making art better than what i made it i used to only draw black and white pictures with pencil you know but the reason that i learned to colorize them was because oh it's behind me here it's because of final fantasy 7 if you can see i don't know if i talked about that but like yeah, I probably did in one of my other videos, but basically it's them having a Halloween. I like drawing them in situations where they're a family, <laughs> the Silverhead men are a family. Like, you know, usually with Jenova's head lingering too. Yeah, I don't know. They would never forget their mommy. <laughs> okay, well, I'll talk to you later. I just really wanted to, like, experience that because I know the, the phenomenon is going on right now. And I, I miss it. I miss it. So if anybody wants to talk about that, I would love to. But know that I don't really know my um I don't really know my my stuff, especially not about the original game. I've been waiting. I've been saving myself for this game. <laughs> so um Yeah. Yeah. I've been saving myself for the game. I have watched cutscenes for Crisis Core and Dirge of Cerberus and then also I I know Advent Children inside and out not necessarily advent children complete because i loved advent ch children and then i just watch advent i don't have advent children complete but i like watch it for the extras you know the extra little tidbits i hadn't seen before but i i liked the way the advent children actually flowed together pretty well even though it didn't make a lot of sense i liked it it made me want to learn about the story because you're just like oh there's all these hot really badass guys like what is going on i have no idea and so it just made me go learn about what things were about and write a lot of fanfic about it because it's a really tragic, all their stories are really, I don't know, it's like a sad, tragic thing, like all Final Fantasy VII games. I don't know about all of them, but th a lot of them. So, um, yeah, I gotta save them. That's what fanfic is for. Draw them a better life. Whoop. <laughs> That's what it's for. <laughs> okay. Self-promotion rap. As a layperson, what I took it to be, at the time that I wrote it, that I wrote it, listen to me. <laughs> so at the time that I made that little thing up, um, basically, I noticed it was like, whenever people were rapping about how great someone, what, how great they were, then they would also say, I'd be doing this like somebody else. I'd be doing this like somebody everybody knows, you know? I'd be doing, I, I, you don't know who I am yet, but I'd be doing this like that person who you know and uh, who is already awesome. <laughs> Basically. So, um, but you know, and then also, I can't remember when Air Force Ones came out, but there were some like awesome anomalies. Like, was that Nelly? Like he, a, a rap about shoes and how awesome some shoes were. That's, that's so cool. That's so cool. I don't know. I like it. The lighter, the better for me. Because I just like stuff you can... I, I don't go very deep into things based in, like, music. Um, not because mostly it makes me cry when I do that. So, like, stuff you can sing to, stuff you can dance to, you know? <laughs> Big fat beats, basically. Um, I, I try not to listen too into the um, lyrics, too, because, like, uh, you know... Uh, cliche but um it took me a long time it took me until lizzo came out to think that like calling a chick a bitch was a good thing so but now like my sister actually kind of put a nice spin on it for me she was like our mom was a boss bitch a boss bitch you know and i was like oh she was a boss bitch i don't know i would love to be a boss bitch you know um Bad bitches seem awesome, too. <laughs> I sound like such an outsider. I know, I know. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't. I wasn't raised. Um, but yeah, like, no, it was a serious bad word. But shut up was also a bad word in our household. So, whatever. <laughs> I would I would get caught cursing, but it was, like, at the wrongest time. It was, like, when, when little children were in the car. You know, I don't... Eh, it's all right. It would be, like, the biggest... Uh, mistake. It would be the biggest mistake when I, I that's when I got comfortable to start cursing. 
But at least now I'm by myself, so who cares, right? You don't care. You like cursing, right? I like cursing too. I like it. Yelling. I love yelling. Like, my music days were back in, like, the millennium, honestly. You turn on the radio, everything was great. I thought. I thought everything was great when you turn on the radio. So, like, Mystical was there, DMX was there, Busta Rhymes was somewhere between there and 2002. I don't know. I, I love yelling and rap. It's awesome. <laughs> That's my favorite, actually. And, it, and it's if it's not too... Oh, I actually liked, and you guys might hate this, but I love it. So, like, when Snoop went clean for a second, his... His rap got really clean, right? But, like, the... I can't say orchestration. That's so... That's not appropriate. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. But, like, all the all the instruments, all the um, stuff that was going on, you know, to, like, back him up, they were great. The collaborations he did were awesome. I thought they were awesome. I don't know. I, I really liked that type of his thing. I don't really um, hear much anymore, but it's only because... I only listen to the radio like every few years and like if because I noticed like locally here in my rural it's not rural but like here in my midwestern state of Missouri um I uh like if you turn on the radio in six months it'll be mostly the same except suit like two songs have changed because they have like I, maybe that's what they have to do like you know play it play the same songs every two hours and play it on a loop or something like that. I don't know. But um, it gets old pretty quick, so I, I don't listen to it that much anymore. I hear my music from, like, movies, games, too. Yeah, movies, video games, and TV shows that I like. YouTube, even, like, if someone makes, like, a fan video <laughs> and, like, it's got an awesome song behind it, that's how I found Nightwish. They were awesome. They make me cry, but they are awesome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, okay. I better go.